This is getting out of hand, and I'll show you why. I typed contact form into the WordPress plugin directory and I got 5,400 results. Who has time to test all of that? I've used the same well-known contact form plugin for years, because it's safe, reliable, without any surprises. But last week I randomly tried a new one, and here's a spoiler alert for you. This plugin is completely free. Honestly, I'm impressed. I'm so impressed that I'm seriously considering swapping out my go-to contact form plugin. And trust me, I don't switch plugins lightly. Want to know what changed my mind? Well, let me show you. And the plugin I'm talking about is called FormGent, the one you see on the screen right now. It's a brand new plugin, and as I mentioned, it's totally free. It also has a pro version, but in this video I'm gonna use a free version. Now, after installing the plugin, you'll see the form gen menu on the left. Let's go to the settings first. You'll see there are some settings for disabling IP logging. You can enable Honeypot protection. And if you want to use Google reCAPTCHA, then you can add your site key here. Under the validation, you can add validation messages. Under the integrations, you'll see that you can connect your form to Google Sheets. And this way you can send your data insights to Google Sheets and it automatically syncs as results come in. You can connect your site with MailChimp, Zoho, CRM, Zapier, and with Google Map, that is if you want to display Google Map locations inside your forms, add your API key here and you're good to go. You can also enable payments, payment success page and failed page. Those pages are created automatically during the plugin installation. You can set the currency, currency sign position and choose between two available payment gateways. Currently PayPal and Stripe are available. Hopefully they will add some other payment options. And these are the settings. Now let's go to the forms and you can start from scratch. You can use template and you can create with AI. Let's start with the template. I'm going to open it up and you'll see it currently they have 30 templates available. If you want to see the demo, then just click on the demo button. It opens up and you'll see what is what here. You can filter them by type, for example, all calculator forms or application forms. Here you can also customize how many items per page are displayed and the preview size, for example. Maybe this is the preview size you like the most. Now let's choose one application form, for example, this job application form. Just let's import it. Give it the title, create form. It's gonna take a couple of seconds while it imports and done. Now let's customize the form and you'll see that the block editor opens up. You'll see the most used blocks, paragraph heading, name, multi-line text, single line text and email. But there are some other field types here. So let's take a look at all the field types available. Name, email, single line text, phone number, number field, multi-line text area, drop down, single choice, multiple choice, GDPR compliance, Google Maps, address, website URL, input masking. What it does for you, it will hide the sensitive data, for example, password or ID code or whatever it is you would like to mask. There is a submit button, rating field, file upload field, repeater field, date and time, captcha and page break. If you have payments activated, then you'll see that there are some payment fields, that is PayPal, Stripe. You can add payment items, for example, some products or whatever it is. You can add quantities. You can create custom payment amounts, useful for donations, for example, and payment summary details. And as you see, all these are available for free. What's awesome that the repeater is available for free, file upload, and so on. Now, if you would like to customize the form, then just click on the element itself. For example, this field, first name, you can choose the width, for example, 100%, 75%, 67, 50, 33, or 25%. Since we have three column layout for the names, it uses 33%. On the right, you'll see the label alignment, left, right, top, or justify, by default it's set to top. You can set the field to be required field. You can add the character limits here and you can add the placeholder text, for example, enter your name. 
under the advanced, you can set the default value for the field and some CSS classes. Now let's add some other fields here. For example, let's add single choice. That is a radio selection. If you need to add other options, just click here. If you need to customize the text, click inside the selection and change the text, or you can do it also on the right here. For example, first option and second option, you can also add items here. Now under the style, you can see whether it's framed or standard. I like the framed one more. Column layout, whether it's default, full width or two columns. I like the two columns option more. What else do we have here? We have a drop down selection, this one here. In a similar way, you can add options and placeholder text. Now, if you want to delete it, just delete it here. If you want to reposition something, just drag and drop or use those arrows. Basically all the same as with a Gutenberg editor. Now I'm gonna open up the tree view. I'm gonna delete previously created three fields. I'm gonna select them all, press delete and done. What else is great is that the free version has conditional logic. Let's click on this phone field and under the logic you'll see that I can set up the conditional logic. Most free contact form plugins doesn't have conditional logic built in for free, but this one has. I'm gonna show this number field only if the single choice is first option. If the second option is selected, then I'm not gonna display the phone number. Let's apply it. Let's publish it. Now under the design and share, we can preview the form. This is what it looks like at the moment. I'm gonna close it down. What else can we do here? When you select the form itself, not only the field, but the form itself, then you'll see that under the general settings, we have an option to remove the form gen branding, but it's a pro option. Under the form confirmations, there are three options, whether to display the success message, redirect to the specific page. For example, if you choose this page, then after the form submission, user will be redirected here, or you can redirect to the custom URL. I'm gonna choose a success message, and after the form submission, I'm gonna hide the form. Let's save it, and let's move to the email notifications. There is an admin notification email, status activated, I can duplicate it or edit it. Here, you can set the email address or choose from the form fields. By default, the whole message is displayed, but if you want to customize the message, then you can use the form fields to add here, for example, response ID. Next one, site URL, let's add text here, and done. If you would like to add conditional emails, then you have to purchase a pro version. Let's update the notifications and let's go to the webhooks. This is also the pro feature. If you would like to use the webhook features, then you have to upgrade. If you would like to enable the quiz option, then you can do it here and add the grades. Currently, I'm not gonna do that, but it's nice to know that you can enable the quiz option. You can display this form on any other site, not only on this site. For example, if I copy this code and open up one of my other test sites, I'm just gonna open up a random page here. I'm gonna add a new block. It's gonna be a HTML block. Paste the code, save it, preview, done. Here are some embed options, whether I'm gonna activate auto height and make the form responsive to container width. Under the custom CSS and JavaScript, you can add your own custom code. Now let's save it and close it down. All the form confirmation and the email notification options open up all the same things we saw under the general options. The same goes with the web folks, quiz embed and custom CSS and JavaScript. Under the style, you can customize a form background, whether it's a color or image, you can add a background image. Let's add some random image. For example, this one here. Doesn't look any good, therefore I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna just use the color here. You can customize all the paddings, borders, some field spacings, label colors, description colors, and so on, some border options. So basically you can customize everything here. 
on top you'll see a design and share button if you open it up you'll see how does it look like here now you can remove the background image use the background color if needed for example this one or just a regular white you can change the logo if needed or hide the title hide the logo or display whatever it is you want to display here one more option you can enable or disable the share option share option is that you can copy the link send it to other users and they can directly access the form itself last one there is a mobile version here and you can customize the form also for the mobiles now i'm going to close it down i'm going to save it close it and now you can either copy the short code or if i go to the posts or pages then i can also look for a form gen dynamic form block i'm going to choose the form save it preview it and it's here as you remember i added a conditional logic if second option is selected then phone number is not displayed if the first option is selected then the conditional phone number is displayed here as you see conditional logic works well okay next one if the form has been created this is the edit form you can see all the responses here that is let's add a, just a random information just to test the form submit as you see the form is hidden this is the thank you message now I'm going to refresh the page and it says there is one response. If I click on the number or on the all responses button, I can see all the responses. If you select, then you can download them as CSV, Excel or PDF file. You can also view the submissions here. You can add notes. For example, responded, save note and done. On top here, you can select which columns you would like to display i don't want it to be too crowded i just want to display the most basic info that is submission date and sender information i can also search responses i can see the analytics although analytics is the pro feature i can just see the basic information views how many forms have been started how many are finished completion rate and time to complete under the summary, I can see the summary in a different view. If there are single choices, then I can see the charts from all the submissions. Awesome. Now, what else you can do here is you can add steps to your forms. And this is where the page break comes to help. I'm going to add this one here and another one here and third one here. If I click here, there is a go to settings if I open up you'll see there is a page break settings here let's see what happens first I can choose whether to show labels progress bar or steps what is the difference let's select the progress bar and add a first step here and add the label here that is next is contact details this one is job info and so on now let's save it let's refresh the page and you'll see this is the progress bar but if i choose steps save and refresh you'll see this is a steps option here now one more thing you'll see there is a submit button it's not needed here therefore i'm gonna delete it and the last page has the submit button by default okay so these were the steps now let's go and create new form start from scratch and you can choose whether to create a classic form or conversational form just create the form and now you can add your own fields and this is the conversational form add your own image here for example this one you can choose the layout type this 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 and this one here i like this layout the most so i'm gonna leave it as this now if you take a look at this area here you'll see these are the pages added to the conversational forms. If you would like to delete any of those, just delete. If you would like to add any new pages, just select duplicate and customize it as you like. For example, let's change the image for this page. Now you can add other fields here. And if you would like to end it, then just click on this end block. And this is the last one here. Okay, I'm going to leave this form and 
this time it's a create with AI form. Whether it's AI classic form or AI conversational form, I already showed you what the conversational form. Let's use AI conversational form and there are some form suggestions for you. I'm gonna add my description, booking form with seven services and three employees. Date and time picker are required. Now I'm gonna click on generate form. It's gonna prepare my form and you'll see how fast it works. So done. It opens up and now I can customize it. As you see, currently it has six pages. I can see what happens on every page. Enter your full name, select date, select the service, seven services. I can rename them here. Employees, three as I asked. Add additional information plus consent and submit. I can rename the next to submit. Under the design and share, I can once again customize it as I like. And this is the AI form, as you saw, creating a complicated form took only a couple of seconds. Now, as I mentioned in this video, I use the free version of the form gen plugin, but there is also a pro version available. If you would like to know what are the differences, then take a look at this compare menu up here. I'm going to put the link to the pro in the video description. Scroll down and you'll see the comparison between other forms and you'll see what are the paid options available. One more thing, if we talk about the form gen pro, then the pro features are conditional emails. That is, you can select the conditions you want to use to send the email notifications. For example, if one field is selected, then email to one person. If other field is selected, send it to other person. With a pro version, you can also save incomplete data. That is, if someone leaves the form and comes back to it later, then the data is saved and they can finish where they left off. Also, you'll get better conversion analytics, as you see for the free version is disabled, but with the pro version, you'll see all the data here. If we talk about the pricing, then currently they offer a lifetime deal. It's an early bird offer and it will end soon. So you'll see that you'll get unlimited sites for $159, which is a really good deal. Next, I'm going to go under the resources and roadmap. And let's take a look what are the planned features. As you see in the progress, there is a user login and registration and payment subscription. Advanced AI is planned with analyzing your existing forms with AI to get personalized recommendations. PDF generator is up next and user custom post type submissions. For the future, they have planned enhanced directories integration, form restriction, Compliance settings and A-B testings. Those are the current roadmaps. There you go. As you saw, FormGent is a powerful feature-packed free contact form plugin that makes building forms effortless. Now, if you find this video helpful, then don't forget to hit the like button. And before you go, check out the next video on your screen. I'll walk you through more free WordPress plugins you'll wish you knew about sooner. Thanks for watching and take care.